Hey, how's it going? And this is an update to a video I did about six months ago on vehicle possession with enhanced input actions. And I saw a couple comments that it wasn't working. And, uh, you know, I hate that when that happens, uh, you know, but I think the issue is, is that was in Unreal Engine 5.1 and in 5.3, Epic Games changed things. So it will work, I think, if you go into Unreal Engine 5.1, but I'll show you how it could work in 5.3. And I noticed what I noticed, I didn't go through the whole tutorial, but I just to, went to where I think the problem is, is that there wasn't any input action in 5.3 in the vehicle, in the first person template. And I have no idea why that is. So I'm just going to kind of go through that tutorial real fast a little bit, and then you can, you know, pick it up again. So here we go. We're going to, we're in the first person template. I'm just going to delete this wall, delete this wall, delete that 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 I'm just giving myself some room to drive around I'll select this mesh here this floor and I'm just gonna stretch it out real fast like that okay and and you can do this in any thing and then I think I made a here on this what is this this I'm trying to select the text renderer here text render actor and I think I said something like press one to drive and some kind of instruction here. So we'll just do this real fast. I think it was press one to press one to drive. I don't know, press to escape or something like that. I don't know what it was I said. But some kind of instruction you can see in the first tutorial. And then I can just drop the size down here. I'm not sure. What did I say? Let's see. I'm just looking at some. Oh, press 3 to escape. I had. So here on that text renderer, I don't want to spend too much time messing around. Press 3 to escape. There we go. Okay. And then we got to go and get our, add our vehicle to the, so we'll go add feature, vehicle template, add the project. And it's going to need to enable this plugin, this chaos vehicle plugin. So enable missing. And then I know we need to do a restart. So let it restart, save, selected, let it restart. And then it's just a couple things to get, to get going on this. And I think, like I said, the first video explains a lot of this. Then we just go to our blueprint, uh, our sports car, and then just drag it onto the scene like that, kind of over by the player start. And if I hit play, I see the cars right there. So this is all about taking possession of this vehicle. So now we're going to go into we're going to go into the first person blueprint here. So let's do that. First person blueprint. Double click this. And we'll go ahead and dock this. And you'll notice, see, if you compare this, this is 5.3 now. There, you look, there's no enhanced input action in here. You see that? Where there was, there was before in 5.1. So don't ask me why they dropped it from here. So anywho, what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we go keyboard press or keyboard one and there is that and then I think we get the actor of class so drag up from here and go get actor of class and we're going to want our sports car pawn sports car pawn this one right here select that and then we want to get our player controller, get player controller right here, and then drag off of here and we'll get possess. And that should go in here. And then this goes in here. And now we have to recreate the input action because we don't have it we don't have it here for some darn reason so that's not hard really to do so what we're going to do is we're going to right click 
and go event begin play right here and then we'll right click and get the controller well we can cast to player controller and there is that and then we can get the controller get controller right here and plug that into here and that into there and then we want to get this enhanced in we want to get this enhanced local system so it's called enhanced this one right here get enhanced input local player subsystem this thing right there and then we want to get an is valid node here is valid and there is that and then this goes in here and this will make sure that that is correct and then off of here we're going to right click I believe we're going to right click and this is the last step and you can test this at this point and this should put you back on track with that other tutorial at this point it should if you just keep following the steps from here um, is we want to go get mapping context so we'll right click and go get mapping well, I guess we got to pull it off of here I guess we can only get it off of here so drag off of here and go get mapping what is it called add sorry not add. it's add mapping add mapping context here and then this goes in here and then here's where it's tricky so where it says select asset there's two of them one and you'll see one that says game vehicle where it says path game vehicle template and then one says first person input we want the one that says vehicle template input and select that and then go compile and save and then if we hit our map and I hit play if I click one I should have control of the vehicle see that so then you should be good from here to resume with that other tutorial so bottom line is that 5.3 they made a change the change was they dropped the I don't know why they dropped it. They dropped the, the enhanced input local player subsystem. So anyway, I hope you find this home. I hope this gets you back on track. And then from here, you should be able to get back into the other tutorial and hopefully it'll work for you. So I hope this helps. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you next time.